Hello all and welcome to what I can only describe as the worst repair experience of my life. Here we have a PS3 navigation controller which we are doing a battery replacement on with an unexpected twist. Disclaimer is in the video description, so let's go. As you can see the battery is cooked which I double confirmed after leaving on charge for 6 hours. No flashing lights. I starting off by removing the 4 back screws super quick. Next we crack the back plate apart gently being careful not to tear the ribbon cables you're about to see. Unscrew the battery tray, this will make sense very soon. Standard disassembly, as always be gentle when pulling electronics apart. Untangle the charging board from the battery wires and gently pull the battery connector. Now, this is where the twist comes in. I bought the wrong battery. While the voltage is the same, the capacity and size are hugely different, hence the removal of this battery tray. I could have returned the battery to get the correct size, but I was being lazy and decided to run with it. However, I only recommend the correct part is ordered as this has the potential of damaging your controller. This next step was an absolute nightmare. Due to the battery being larger, I had to fiddle with the position to try and close the case, which after 20 minutes, I was able to do. And now, as you can see, we have a working controller with a larger capacity battery. Hope you enjoyed, but seriously, use the right parts and don't be lazy. Although it works, who knows if there may be any negative effects on the controller's lifespan or general safety.